Honorable guests and respected audience, it is my pleasure to present my paper in this symposium on education in Muslim societies, women's scholarship and engagement in policy, pedagogy and development. So my name is Ali Raza. I am an undergraduate student. Currently I am pursuing my bachelor degree in Islamic law under the faculty of Sharia at Darul Islamic University uh, located in southern Indian state Kerala. So the title of my paper is The Role of Malala Yusufza in Advocating for Girls' Education in Muslim Majority Countries, Challenges and Achievements. So I begin by acknowledging the undeniable truth that access to quality education for girls in Muslim majority countries like Afghanistan remains a critical and ongoing challenge. Discriminatory cultural norms, gender-based violence, poverty and inadequate infrastructure continue to hinder the educational opportunities of countless girls. However, amidst these challenges, Malala emerged as the advocate for the girls' education. Malala Yousafzai became the youngest ever Nobel Prize winner for her fight for her right to education. Her relentless advocacy for girls' education, despite grave threats to her own safety, took her global attention. Uh, in 2012, she survived a targeted assassin uh, assassination attempt, further propelling her cause onto the global stage. So the objective of this paper, which are questions that is addressed in the paper, is a comprehensive examination of Malala Yousafzai's advocacy for Muslim girls, equal right to education, challenges she faced on her journey, the strategies she employed, and her remarkable achievements, the remaining barriers in girls' education, and the future directions for advancing gender equality in education within Muslim majority countries. So the methodology used in this paper is a mixed methods approach combining both qualitative and quantitative data collection and analysis. So moving to the findings of this paper, uh, Malala Yousafzai encountered multiple challenges during her advocacy journey. So first of all, Malala bravely stood up against the Taliban's oppressive policies, particularly their ban on girls' education in her home region after they came into power. She faced the threat of violence and, as we know, survived a targeted assassination attempt. Her advocacy challenged deeply ingrained cultural norms and uh, traditional gender roles, especially in Muslim majority countries, and the patriarchal attitudes and resistance to change posed significant obstacles to her work. And thirdly, the persistent danger to Malala's safety and that of her family underscored the grave risks associated with her advocacy. Living under constant threat was a harrowing experience for her and her family. While media attention amplified her message, it also subjected Malala, challenging her authenticity and intent in public. Uh, that why she is doing the, these, what motivates her for these, uh, is it a kind of a show off or willing to be a media influencer? This type of questions arise uh, in her work. And moving to the strategies that uh, Malala employed in her work and throughout her journey, that in response to these challenges, after she was taken to Birmingham for her operation, after a, a shot and she got cured, she became more concentrated on her mission for girls' education. Malala employed several ingenious strategies uh, for her mission. First of all, like authoring books, Malala authored books for her mission. Her first book was I Am Malala, The Girl Who Stood Up, was published in 2013, which portrays Malala's experience in being shot by the Taliban due to her standing up for educational rights. The book ultimately highlights her wisdom and compassion and her courageous efforts in fighting for girls' education. Also in 2017, she wrote a beautiful children's book uh, which is titled as Malala's Magic Pencil. It is a heartwarming story about the magic pencil she used uh, to change the world. Secondly, establishing the Malala Fund. In 2013, she established um, the Malala Fund, an organization dedicated to advocating for girls' education and investing in education uh, initiatives worldwide. The fund is focused mainly focused on helping girls uh, like in India, Brazil, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Turkey, Lebanon, Ethiopia, and Nigeria. The Malala Fund supports educational activists and volunteers in these countries who are working to make education a reality for all girls. This provided, uh, this provided a structured framework for her advocacy. And Malala engaged with world leaders at international platforms, advocating for policy changes that support girls' education. Her speeches at the United Nations and meetings with influential figures underscored her global impact. Fourthly, 
uh, empowering local communities malala recognized the importance of grassroots initiatives and engaged with local communities she emphasized the compatibility of education with cultural values and religious principles the malala fund has helped established multiple schools malala used the money she got uh, and obtained for, from her nobel prize to establish a school in swat valley uh, which is where she is from malala promised in 2014 that she would have a school established there at some time in future she came through uh, with her promise and created a wonderful school for girls and the six uh, uh, and the six strategies uh, she employed uh, that e as an even messenger of peace secretary general antonio guterres designated malala as the united nations messenger for peace in 2017 to help raise awareness of the importance of girls education a even messenger of peace is an individual identified for their efforts related to their public involvement and are designated to use their efforts alongside the united nation malala used her position Uh, to urgently promote girls education rights at new york's un headquarters also most importantly she also patronized the nobel cup organization which seeks to provide free menstrual cups to girls and women in ethiopia in 2019 in an interview she also promoted this organization in this interview she said we need to support the work of local female leaders like sara who are leading the fight to ensure the menstruation doesn't stop girls for completing their education so uh, helping this was also uh, to uh, remove the hindrances in their way of education especially for girls now moving to the remaining barriers and some future directions however these are substantial challenges that persist uh, like uh, for example cultural norms gender based violence socio socio economic disparities and inadequate resources continued to obstruct girls education in many muslim majority countries and achieving achieving gender equality in education requires addressing deep rooted gender inequalities within educational systems curricula and social structures and thirdly um, investment in educational instructor infrastructure and resources remains a critical component in advancing girls education so finally in conclusion um, malala's uh, malala yousafzai's advocacy journey is not just her history it is a story of courage it reminds us that advocacy can be a catalyst for profound change and that education is the cornerstone of empowerment thank you